Women from across Indiana are calling on lawmakers to get rid of the state's task on menstrual tax, that is, on menstrual products. Some made their voices heard during a rally at the state house today. News 8's Camilla Fernandez was there. Event organizers tell me they're pushing to eliminate the tampon tag so that feminine care products like this one are more accessible to all women. It's quite unfortunate that we continue to tax our period products, even though this is like a natural thing for women. And so I'm here to support the movement. According to the Alliance for Period Supplies, Indiana is one of 21 states to charge sales tax on period products. The group Mad Voters wants to change that despite its small momentum at the state house. We're confident that if it would just be given a chance in the hearing, um, it would have bipartisan support because who doesn't want to support, you know, women and children because by extension, you know, periods affect women, children, families. They say Hoosier women pay $5.6 million annually in sales tax for those necessities. Our mission is equity, fairness in Indiana. Um, and so when you've got half of Hoosiers having to pay taxes on necessary products, but then you can go and buy a Twix bar, um, that's not fair. Mary Kira from Fort Wayne tells us the price tags hit women of color the most. She says it's a costly tax that keeps them from other essential activities. The period product tax continues to eat to their income, which leaves them with less net income to spend on other basic factors that they need to be spending on. Democrat State Senator Shelley Yoder says period products aren't luxury items for women. And she says there isn't a reason to keep the tax. News 8 also reached out to Republican legislators, but we have yet to hear back. For the state of Indiana, it's not a lot of money. And the number of conversations that we have had in this state house over the last couple of years over a rainy day fund that is plentiful and the fact that we continue to tax the ability for people to engage society is outrageous. Overall, event organizers tell me they are hopeful that the tampon tags will be eliminated sooner rather than later. I'm Camilla Fernandez for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and like us on Facebook.